Hey guys, I'm going to do a review on two of the products in the Burt's Bees Sensitive Skin line. This one is the Facial Cleanser and this is the Daily Moisturizing Cream. And then I'm also going to tell you how I came across these products. So just a little bit about Burt's Bees. In general, just the whole company, they are very natural. They only use, or they use as many natural ingredients as they possibly can. They don't want to put harsh chemicals in it at all. And especially with this line, the sensitive line, they use 99% natural ingredients, which definitely help your skin. It just does what it says, kind of causes moisture and it cleanses your face and your skin without causing redness or irritation. And I mean, just the natural ingredients in general it's great for your skin your health and then also the environment and another good thing with Burt's Bees you can pretty much get them anywhere I mean you can go to drugstores um, like Shoppers Drug Mart or Rexall or all the ones you guys have in the States or then you can also go to Target or Walmart kind of just the big box areas and get them as well so they're readily available so before I start the review I'll quickly say how I got these products I am a member of budsagent.com and it is free to sign up it is open to anyone um, as long as you live in Canada the US or the UK but you don't have to be making videos or have a blog or anything they want just regular people who just will talk about something to their friends or their coworkers or their family. And basically that's what the company is. They are a word of mouth advertising company. So basically they send products to their people that are signed up and the hopes is that the people try it and they like it and then they will share that information and share the product with their friends and then it kind of creates a buzz and spreads the word around. Now like I said it's free to sign up, um, free to join, free to be in any of these campaigns. Um, you do kind of surveys about yourself, so if you have kids, if you travel a lot, if you have sensitive skin, if you have this kind of this hair, and then they offer you campaigns, and then you can accept them or decline them. So this is actually the second Burt's Bees ones I have been on, and they've done things like, once I think they did like a video camera, which I didn't get offered, but that's totally awesome, and then they've done, I know the CoverGirl foundation that like natural lux again I wasn't offered that and a lot of cleaning supplies and just things like that so maybe if you are a parent or something they would offer you more of the cleaning supplies whereas I'm 25 well I should be cleaning but I didn't get offered the cleaning supplies but I got offered this one and I know the sensitive skin one everyone who is a member of Buzz Agent that I have talked to got offered. My sister got offered it. A lot of people, I'm on kind of like a Canadian forum that shares deals. We all got offered. I know quite a few of my subscribers who are on that. My little Casey, she got offered it. She's doing it. And yeah, you just get sent the products for free. So I got sent, yeah, these two full-size products. Um, this one retails for, I think, about like 12 bucks. And this one is like 23 bucks. And then they also send you an information kit. So it says Burt's Bees Official Buzz Guide. And then, kind of that is what it looks like. And then inside it just has information of things that you would want to know for when you're sharing um, your knowledge about the products. And then they also sent you a whole bunch of little samples to give out to your friends. And sometimes they send you coupons to give out, but this one was actually samples. So it is a sample of the moisturizer. And I think I got about 10 of them. I gave quite a few away already to friends, but I think I get 10. So definitely if you live in one of those three countries, check out Buzz Agent. I mean, it's a really, it's a cool company and it's just nice to be a part of that. I wish I was offered more, <laughs> more cooler things, but that's okay. I'm happy with the campaigns that I am offered. Okay, so the Sensitive line has four different products. We have the cleanser, like I had said, facial cleanser and then there is the daily moisturizer and there is also an eye cream and a night cream now I didn't get those two but I got got to sample or got the whole product of those first two now I don't have sensitive skin but I'm really into kind of your daily cleansing of your face facial care so that's why I guess I was offered it and they kind of offered this campaign to a lot of people and I'm always up to review products for you guys as well so that's why I definitely agreed that I wanted to try this uh, so with the sensitive line it has cotton extract and that's kind of what 
makes it really smooth and soothing on your skin and then that's a natural ingredient so you're not getting any of those chemicals and it's fragrance free um, hyperallergenic and dermatologist tested and I mean it's yeah fragrance free if I said that or not now what they say is that it is a soap free cream cleanser that gently removes dirt oil and makeup without causing redness or over drying or irritation um, so first of all when I think of cleanser I think of something kind of I don't know liquidy that you want to rub in your face now with this it comes like this and right away you can see it is so thick like this I would definitely call this a cream like a cream cleanser I mean if someone just put this on my hand and I didn't know what it was I would absolutely think that it was a moisturizer or like a body butter in a tube um, it is extremely extremely thick I mean going on like that I totally put too much on um, but yeah it's really really thick and I mean it doesn't really smell like anything if anything I'd say a little bit of honey or something but I mean it's fragrance free <laughs> it doesn't smell floral or anything so I did use the cleanser quite a few times and things that I noticed is that like I said it's very thick um, when you put it on your face you kind of put it all over and then smooth it in it doesn't foam but that's okay with the Burt's Bees because they do contain natural ingredients they don't contain sodium lauryl sulfate and that is the foaming agent so in your bath bubbles and your facial, other facial cleansers if it foams that's that unnatural ingredient that it contains that's a chemical so it doesn't foam but I mean it's still really really easy to spread on your face and just knowing that you're not going to get a lather it's just going to be on your face now because it is very creamy it is almost like spreading body butter on your face and the first few times I was like this cannot be good this is going to like make me break out it's so thick but I mean you rub it in and well as you saw what I took on my hand was way too much you only need a little bit you rub it in and then I just splash water off on my face and it kind of comes off and still rubs but I kind of noticed that it still left like almost a thin film on my face um, and especially for me I have oily skin so that was kind of like a uh oh um, but then I kind of patted my face dry with a towel and then after I like if I felt my skin it didn't have that little like residue anymore so I don't know if it's just kind of with my skin type or if you actually do need to use a towel every time but that's just kind of what I found but I mean after you use a towel then your face feels like that squeaky clean feeling not that kind of heavy still have something on it but definitely after using this it makes your face feel extremely smooth and hydrated which yeah at first you wouldn't think but it definitely does now the downfall is that it doesn't really take off your makeup now I know with me I use a heavy foundation so perhaps if you just use the tinted moisturizer as your foundation or something um, then it would but it no it didn't take off my <laughs> makeup at all and the thing is with me I use a cleanser first and then I use an astringent to take off any excess makeup and then I use my proactive cleanser um, and usually I use a different cleanser and probably about half of my makeup is already taken off and then I just use one little um, cotton pad with astringent on to get everywhere else just to make sure my face is really really clean but after using this I have to say it hardly took any of my makeup off so I ended up when I used my astringent I actually had to use two pads to get all my makeup off because the first one it just got completely saturated in my makeup and then I used the second one and there was still makeup on there um, after that first time so this really doesn't take away makeup I can understand taking away dirt but if you have foundation on your face it's it's really not gonna work that well so that's kind of a disappointment I mean I think it's really good for sensitive skin and it moisturizes your face so much but as a cleanser and I mean when they say the term cleanser you are gonna think it's gonna cleanse your face and they even says removes dirt oil and makeup I mean I really hope that it would have worked a little bit better to remove my makeup so that is the review for this one and then the next one is the daily moisturizing cream and what they say in their little book is that this all-day nourishing moisturizer is clinically proven to moisturize sensitive skin without causing redness or irritation 
and this one contains rice extract to moisturize and aloe as well to soothe and it won't clog the pores so that's good now the first thing that I love about this is the container it isn't like this where you have to squeeze it or anything it is actually a pump so you kind of go like this and you put a little bit on and I mean it's not one of those things where you push and so much comes out and then you can just smooth it on and it's very light and it goes on extremely thin like you just have a thin layer compared to this one where this I would definitely call a cream um, this one it is also called it's called a moisturizing cream I would almost call this a lotion I wouldn't call this a cream it just goes on so thin and smoothly and yeah it's not thick at all so I would call this a lotion and this one a cream <laughs> and after you rub it in I mean it doesn't leave any residue really I mean at first it takes a little while to completely like absorb in your skin but that's good I think um, so right now it still feels like I have something on but after a little bit then like maybe a few minutes then you you don't really kind of notice it's there um, but your skin still feels smooth and hydrated but I have to say after about maybe half an hour um, I don't notice it too much anymore now on my face it is fine because I have oily skin um, but I wanted to try it like on my hands and I know it's not a hand cleaner it's supposed to be for your face but for someone that may have a drier face, I wanted to, yeah, I have really dry hands. So after about half an hour to about 45 minutes, my hands are back to being like how they were before. Uh, and I know that moisturizers for your face are definitely going to be um, more sensitive and less nourishing for your hands because you don't want to clog your pores. But I don't know, just something to know if you have really, really, really dry skin and I know there is quite a few of you out there and one in particular that was telling me that she has extremely dry skin um, I don't know if I if this one would be the best I mean I've tried some other products that do one thing that I really dislike about this product is that it doesn't contain SPF and for they call it a daily moisturizing cream I would expect that either it has SPF or then I would suggest well maybe use it as a night cream but in their sensitive line they already have a night cream so this is clearly meant to be used in the morning so I just don't know why they wouldn't put SPF in it so overall I think if you have dry sensitive skin I would say give this one a try as long as you don't wear like heavy foundation um, if you just kind of have a light coating of foundation and this is only like 12 bucks probably cheaper in the states probably like 9 or something this one is $24 in Canada, so I don't think I would recommend this one. But, I mean, if you want, you can give it a try, or then if you're able to find kind of some samples from someone that did do this campaign, then definitely you can give it a try before you buy it. Spend $25 on the product. So I hope this review was helpful. I wish I liked it a little bit more. I wish it did more what it said it would. But, unfortunately, that's the way these reviews go. Sometimes you don't always get the answer that you want to hear. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have tried the product because you are a Buzz agent as well or then just if you try it anyways. Um, and let me know if you sign up for Buzz agent because I really think it is an awesome thing and tell me which cool campaigns you guys have been on. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye.